It's Mr. Bot's Office, TV, the main event, the professor of truth and entertainment, the ratings killer. And if you don't know, you need to get to know. Manager bounce. Those are the two words that I could describe Tottenham Hotspur right now with Postacoglu, with the form that we are showing at the moment. The argument being is, is that he's came in and he's been absolutely exemplary. Only one performance against Fulham, which I've explained in my last couple of my last video on when I said that Postacoglu was right to put the side out he put in. But I want to highlight something. Something that's something that you saw as an enemy, Theo Walcott said on Sky Sports, big up to Theo, Theo Walcott every single time. Because we have respect for former players, well, players that have already played the game. And he says this, it's early days. It's early days. I always feel that they get quite excited quite quickly with a new manager and new ideas. And it's fine, yes, but they are playing nice right right now. But when they come up against a proper team, they stop there. Now, the host said you're kind of being very dismissive, but there are some true words to what he just said. Because if we look back at history, we know where we can go with what Tottenham Hots have done in the past. Like, for instance, with Mourinho. I know it was bad football, but we were top of the we were fighting for the top. When he start we, when he got appointed, Tottenham Hots were on some of the best form that they were on before. And ended up being sixth in the table, getting Europa League. Also Tottenham started well that season, which was the 20, I think, it, which was the 2021 2022 season, which shows you again, or maybe it was the 2020 season, 2021 season. And that just shows you again where Tottenham Hotspur were nearly top of the table, they were fighting for top of the table. And then it fell off, and look what happened Mourinho got sat got sat and the rest is history on the Nuno Nuno started well he, he won his first three games then we lost against Crystal Palace lost the three London derbies and the rest is history these are all the things and you're hearing the sort of stuff that you're hearing now where everyone's happy it's refreshing everyone's got a new start You've heard it before. We've heard it before. The only difference is with Postacoglu is that we're playing good football and everybody feels the shackles have been unleashed. Another great example is Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte, we had a very good run when he started and we ended up getting top four. We even started the following season well, 2022-2023 season well. Look what happened. Is is these are the examples I can pull out where we can we're getting way too excited, and that's why I look at those words from Theo Walcott as ringing true. Yes, it might be a rival that said it, but you can see exactly where he is going with it because we do not know whether this has popped yet. Well, we, have, we haven't popped yet. You haven't seen the long-term results of Postal Coglu's coaching. And that's the key thing. The key thing is, is when we have a bad run of games, are we going to still have the same positivity? And I'm not talking about the fans. The squad have the same positivity. We've already seen when we put the second team out, the remnants of the second team out, that we're not good enough. Even though we lost on penalties, we're not good enough. They haven't stepped up. And the fact is, we are building. We are building the squad. Because if Madison, Basuma, 
Saul, Van de Ven, Romero, Song are not playing. You're relying on your backups to start playing and start stepping up and that's it. And we haven't seen problems yet. Those problems have not arised yet. Apostle Coglu is getting through it because he's the type of manager to get through it. Just get on with it. He's happy. He knows what he's getting himself into. But again, I still say the fact is, when he has a bad run of how many games with no wins, or he doesn't achieve what the ball wants to achieve, by getting into Europe, winning a trophy, what is going to happen? What is the decision of the board? It just comes down to that and that's it. So I can't get over excited about this, no. I can enjoy the football, but at the back of my mind, I know when the chickens are going to come home to roost. And that's it. So that's just a short, sharp video from your man, your boy, Mr. Bots Office, the main event, the Professor of Truth and Entertainment. And if you don't know, get to know. And I will come back soon with some more new content. And that's it. If you have any questions or things, if you agree or disagree, please leave it in the comments. And as always, as we close off, if you didn't know, get to know, support your boy, Mr. Box Office, subscribe and like, and I'm out.